All right, welcome back, everybody. In our last episode, we had just finished off Pontus, and today we're gonna try and continue on our campaign. I think uh, we'll, our next target will be Seleucid, and then possibly Egypt. I see some armies from Armenia coming this direction, but it's only two units. I'm guessing they're gonna back off. I'm going to try and take Tarsus, and then I'll think about doing an invasion of Egypt. I might go after Cyprus first, and then move along down here. But that might be quite a few turns yet. So I got a little pirate fleet over here. I think this is what's left of the Pontus Navy. Let's try and take him out. And we sunk him. I'm gonna get a ship ride in Corinth. I'm gonna get the uh, paved roads in Athens. Paved roads in Halicarnassus. Byzantium can grow, so we're gonna get the governor's palace. And looks like roads can grow. I'm gonna get sewers in Segestica. I'm gonna get the catapult range in Croton because if we're gonna be taking on these large Roman cities. I think I'm gonna want some sort of catapults or onagers uh, to take on those big stone walls and to take on the towers and stuff. Let me get a spy in Aretium over here. They're up to 13,000 population. And I'm gonna end my turn. Alright, looks like I have some Cretan archers. I'm definitely going to recruit those. And I'm going to get these guys over to Thessalonica for retraining. Looks like we got some new rebels over here. This army actually was is not going to fight them. They're just peasants. I was actually sending them over to Sardis just to disband. Just trying to grow Sardis just a little bit. I do need to take on these guys. They do have some pretty decent hoplites. And then we got this larger rebel force over here. Okay, we got naked fanatics, peasants, and their general. So we got this Armenian army over here. Looks like they have cataphract archers. These guys are going to be really tough to deal with. Anyways, I, uh, I'm going to send my spy back a little bit. I can keep an eye on them with my watchtowers. Not sure what they're doing over here. But it looks like Armenia's army has continued to encroach on our territory. Not sure what they're doing. I'm gonna send Oppius down here. Just have him merge with this army over here. Merging armies in Let's give him some Triarii. Alright, Kydonia. Uh, what do we want over here? Go to normal tax rate. I'm gonna get the large temple of Mercury. And Tylus. How are we doing over here? Still got a bit of unrest, quite a bit of culture penalty. I think I want to do an upgrade. We'll go ahead and get roads over here in Tylus. Because that'll upgrade the Greek roads. I am gonna get mines in Salona. Get that extra income. Polonia, I'm gonna get some shipwright. And in Sparta, let's get the public baths. I sent Vibius Caprarius over here, and what I want to do is I want to get him to build a couple of forts, maybe one here and one here, to, in case the Civil War breaks out, it'll delay my enemies um, at least a couple of turns. So let's go ahead, build a fort. I need to get somebody in it. So let's just get a Hastati. Let's do 
couple of hostadis and just uh, we'll have them sit in the forts. I've got these peasants sent out. I'm gonna have them uh, just use them for migration purposes. And I got these archers here. And I, I'll just uh, preparing for the oncoming battle. And I can retrain these guys and get them added experience. And Amulius over here. I'm actually just gonna have him sit tight a little bit. We're still having troubles. Uh, if I have them leave the city, they'll riot, or I'll have to do like daily games or daily races or something like that. So basically, uh, we've got a lot of a big culture penalty, uh, just a little bit of unrest, but well, 20%. So I'm gonna have to keep him in the city for a little bit. I am training peasants as fast as I can to keep some public order. And then I'll get this Temple of Mercury, which gives us an extra 5%. And then I'll I'll build the stone walls, which will give us a little bit more, we'll reduce that culture penalty. And I'll just keep recruiting peasants and get these. I can actually get some of this military down here to support um, Opius over here. So let's do that. Let's get a couple of guys down here with Opius. I don't know what these Armenians are doing, but I'm just going to keep an eye on them. And, uh, yeah, I think Opius will lead the attack against Tarsus. Uh, we got enough guys here to, to manage that. Alright, I'm just going to end my turn. Alright, looks like Sardis can finally grow. We're going to have to get the uh, governor's villa over here. So, yeah, I was wanting to build that stone wall, so I'm going to get that. So I got Captain Julianus here, Captain Spurious. I'm going to combine these two, and then we'll take on this rubble. We'll do that next turn. Looks like Arminia is continuing to move in here. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to send Opius out. I'm going to send him over into uh, the into Tarsus. I'm going to give him some additional infantry support. We'll move these guys ahead a little bit. Okay, Mizaka over here. They're dealing with quite a bit of culture penalty as well. So I could try to do an upgrade of something. Yeah, we'll do the roads here. Get those upgraded in Mizaka. And of course, continue to recruit peasants so we can get our armies out. I'm going to get roads, paved roads in Segestica. And it looks like we've got a bit of a rebel army over here. Pretty big, but a lot of peasants. I'm wondering if our... Illyrian mercenaries that we got up here is enough. Yeah, we should be able to take them. So let's go. I don't think. Yeah, I think Segesta is gonna. Segestica is gonna be fine. All right. It looks like they want to fight. Let's go ahead and fight this on the map. Alright, looks like we got a little bit of a hill, but it dips down. Let's just get moving out. I'm going to send my archers to attack their general, their second heavy cav. So they got two heavy calves. See if I can get them to charge us. Let's get my infantry to slide over just a little bit. Still not in range. Oh yeah, we are. But we're shooting at peasants, I believe. Yeah, that's that's not effective use of my archers. Oh, we just leveled up. Nice. All right. You know, we're not going to do too much damage to their heavy cap, but we might take out a few. We got one.
Alright, we took out their heavy cav. Here comes their Illyrians. Let's send out our Illyrians to meet them. As well as the war dogs. Okay, they're sending up their peasants. Not sure why they would do that. But our war dog's going to have a field day with them. What do we got over here? Oh, that's their last heavy calf. Somehow he rallied, despite all his uh, friends getting killed. It's pretty amazing. Alright, let's take out these peasants. Oh, do these guys rally? Uh, interesting. Well, let's send out our general to take out these peasants. I don't want to waste any more missiles on them. Our general's heavy cav should take them out pretty easily. Same, these guys managed to rally too. Let's go ahead and take both of these peasants groups out. Uh, they're sending out more Illyrians. Send out our skirmishers after them. And Archie's I think can reach their general now. No, Illyrians. Don't charge. Okay, we're in trouble here. Here comes their general. Well, we might as well hit him head on. Well, their general's routing. Killed their general. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Wait, how did we route? We only lost a few guys. What are they doing? Weird. Alright, lost 43 guys, but it's a victory. Oh, looks like we got a Greek turncoat. Cool. Greeks no longer exist as a faction, but you know, no, nobody in here. I'm going to get a town watch just for general. safety. I thought the general would Sir. be able to get back, but looks like he can't. I can get another Illyrian and get him into the town. Let's do that.
leaving the army. Sir! Move out, sir! Alright, I'm gonna send Hastadi into the fort. And then I'm gonna have him build another fort. Let's see if we can do one right here. Yeah. So we've got some forts here. Maybe another one over here. And another one here. Let's get a bunch of forts. Alright. Wow, we can upgrade all of our guys. And I think I'm gonna get the large temple of Mars over in Tarentum. Thurman over here, I think I'm gonna get uh, a forum. Keep the income coming. Larissa can grow. We'll get that pro uh palace. And I think I need to get a little bit I mean, a little bit more of a garrison. Let's get some more peasants to maintain public order, because we're growing really fast, and I want to uh, raise taxes. I mean, normal's fine, but we're blue, so I'm getting getting that. We'll get highways in Thessalonica. So it looks like the Scipii are marching out and moving towards Egypt. So they've got a couple big armies over here that they're going to attack Egypt with. So I think I need to... I'm going to get Amulius over here to, to take on Egypt. So I'm going to... We'll take on Tarsus and then we'll load him up here and we'll start with Cyprus and then move down here. It'll take uh, the Scipio quite a bit of time to get into the Battle of Egypt, but... Uh, so we have a few turns. I don't think civil war is going to happen for a little bit of time, and uh, but I am still going to set up some defenses here. Uh, I think I'll move some of my triarii and stuff in the battle for Egypt. They'll be really helpful because uh, they have the bonus against horsemen. And so I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Oh no! It looks like the Scipii are heading back. I don't know if they're going to be fighting Numidia. So we just defeated a large group of rebels last turn in Segestica, and now there's another group that just spawned here, so we're going to have to go and deal with them. I think I will get one more group of Illyrians, and go ahead and take these guys on. Victory! Prepare for battle! All right, looks like they got a really nice, favorable hill for our enemies over here. But let's uh, just take everybody, march them over here, where it's kind of a... We might be able to take this hill before they charge us. I don't know. They'll probably charge us. We're definitely going to be fighting uphill, which is unfortunate. All right, I managed to climb this hill. I'm going to uh, move up my infantry just a little bit. Still not in range of my uh, missiles. Maybe I'll just sick my um, war dogs on these peasants here real quick. And I'll get my archers to move up, too. Actually, we'll target these Illyrians on the left. And as soon as they release the dogs, I'm going to have the main group retreat. When do the dogs just get released? Okay, here we go. And... Yeah, war dogs are rushed forward. Wow, I didn't realize how bad my archer's range is. Let's get these guys to head back. These guys run back too. They snuck up on me. Got my war dogs. That's fine. Let's get these guys to attack. These Illyrians. Infantry, move forward. Let's get my general to help out with these Illyrians.
know what? Forget about them. Let's get my Illyrians. Up here. I, I am going to have to uh, keep an eye on those guys. They're fleeing. They're chasing after my war dogs. And where's my archers? Double time. Let's hit their missile cav militia cavalry. Actually, infantry line up right here. Double time. Uh, should I just? I want to just double time over here. Interesting peasant tactics. All right, they're fleeing. I mean, they're retreating. Get my infantry to move forward just a little bit ahead of my archers. Get my general up here. Infantry halt. I want my Hastati to throw their javelins if they can. guys to double time forward charge charge they're probably just gonna run away that's that's the problem with these guys are routed. Problem I have is these guys Seventy-five percent. I don't want to have to deal with this army again. 
So it looks like we're gonna get his general. A lot of his guys retreated. Alright, lost 131 guys. They have 201 remaining. Hopefully they route and I don't have to deal with them again. And I don't see them. Let's get Titus Brutus back into the city. Alright, Vibius, Caprius, Caprarius. I'm gonna go over here and build another fort. Not a watchtower, fort. And we're going to get some people to occupy it. In Corinth, I'm going to get highways. And same with Athens. Halicarnassus. Definitely get a market. Go up to normal. Get another peasant. Byzantium. I want to go normal here as well. And get a shipwright. I got to focus on income because I'm building more and more troops. And the upkeep cost is getting pretty high so Rhodes is gonna get a ship right alright get this army over here Captain Spurious Captain Spurious meet Captain Spurious let's go take these rebels out so yeah we couldn't engage him this turn we'll have to wait and these guys over here are just Wrecking havoc on our trade. Still don't know what Armenia is doing here. At least they're off our territory now. They're in Seleucid territories. Let's uh, let's go ahead and declare war on Seleucid. Let me take a look at them in diplomacy. I don't think they have any allies. Okay, they allied to Carthage and Parthia, but uh, I don't have to worry about either of those factions. And so we're going to war. Besieging settlement, sir. Doesn't look like we were able to get the gates open, so I'm going to have to build some rams. Ah, is the Julii finally going to take out this little rebel army? And look what they've got. They've got uh, ballistas. Uh, I wonder if they're wanting to take out my forts. I don't know. Let's take a look at the Senate the Senate floor. We are actually gaining with the Senate. We're gaining back our position. So I think the Civil War is still quite a bit of time away. We're going to keep our forts here though and keep doing the fort thing. But I'm going to continue to recruit guys and train them up. I'm going to get my uh, Cretan Archer to train up over here in Thessalonica. I'm going to send some of my Triarii on a boat. We're gonna get them over into Greece, merge up with an army, get them to take on Egypt. Get some guys down from here as part of our invasion of Greece. I mean our, our invasion of Egypt. Alright, looks like we got another general here in Pergamum and I'm gonna maybe give him some of Alice's uh, retinue, specifically anything to do with war, and looks like just one guy. Let's just get him towards the front lines. I do think I need another general in the front lines. And with that, I'm going to end my turn. All right, we've got the Marian reforms. So that means we get all new troop types that we can train up. I bet it was Capua, let's take a look. Yeah, they got the Imperial Palace and that's what triggered the Marian reforms. So we will not be able to recruit any more Triarii, but we've got a lot of really cool guys that we can recruit. Yeah, we're 
got the Marian reforms. I'm going to get this Principe in the fort here. Get Vibius out. He's done building his forts. We'll get him back to being a governor. And we finally got a office in the Senate. After all this time, we finally got an office. So let's take a look. It's the lowest rank, Quester. And it's our faction leader. But at least it's an office. And he's kind of old, 62. Uh, but these guys are old too, 63, 64. Uh, he could die any turn now. But at least we finally got an office. Let's get one of those Praetorian cohorts. And we're going to get a Roman Cavalry over here. I'm going to get an Archer Auxilla over here in Thessalonica. Getting the Forum in Kydonia. Continuing to improve our economy. Tylus here has a little bit of a public order problem. Got a little bit of unrest and culture penalties. So I think uh, I'm going to have to upgrade something. We have a Greek sewers. We can get the public bath. So that will upgrade that and reduce some culture penalty as well as give us the extra health bonus. I'm going to get Shipwright in Pergamum. And Sardis is now grown, so I'm going to get a port. And I think I can go to normal taxes here as well. Salona, I'm going to get paved roads. Get a forum in Apollonia. And I'm going to get get a forum in Sparta. The reason I don't build the armor, because I build a lot of troops in uh, Sparta. I actually have been sending them to Corinth, which has the armorer to get trained up in Corinth so I don't bother building that here so I'm gonna get the forum for our income but I'm gonna go ahead and tr recruit some early legionaries and in Corinth uh, I think we'll get some Roman cavalry we'll make sure these guys all get trained up in Corinth as well let me get these two peasants over into Blizora try to spur their growth over here yeah should get it pretty soon Let's get Appius on the road to Sinope. I'm going to deal with these rebels real quick. Alright, uh, we lost 32 guys. Not a bad victory. Alright, now you guys go and take on your second group of rebels, which is way over here. I wonder where our friends from Armenia went. Okay, they're going back over here. You're just uh, totally scouting out my lands. Well, all right, let's go ahead and take on Tarsus. Engage the enemy. They got 2,000 men, but just a lot of peasants and militia hoplites. So as long as we don't attack the hoplites head on, I think we'll be okay. And we've got a little bit of archery archers, so. All right, this time I'm not splitting up my army. I'm just taking this one gate. I should be able to hit them with my archers and do a lot of casualties. Actually, you know what? Let's wait. Let's get my archers up first. And do as much damage as I can with my archers. Eighteen percent so far. That's about everybody I can take. 
I'm only going to do the one ram because the gates are not really defended and I don't want to deal with these towers. I don't want my guys to get hit by the towers. So it'd be nice if I could get a couple of archers over here. Uh, let's get away from the towers. Let's go right here. They should be able to hit these guys over here. And I don't think my uh, Roman archers have the range. We'd have to get too close to the towers. But I think my Cretan archers do. Yeah. We do have the range. Now they're sending their peasants up to soak up my arrows. Actually not a bad tactic. Get me to use my arrows up on your peasants so that your valuable units won't take as many arrows. except for you guys marching forward single file and I want everyone to fire at will these guys are hiding over here smart Get my archers in position over here in case they charge me at the gates. But let's get a little bit there, like that. Looks like they're coming after me, so I can hit them with my archers. I'm going to have my archers hold their fire, save some ammo, and let's see, can I get my infantry in the gates? Let's double time. If I see these guys, I'll definitely have my archers target them, and I want to get... Great my archers gods. in the gates and our soldiers have done well this day the walls are taken Let's see if we can get all of my infantry inside Let's just get my general my cavalry over here okay here they come so we're gonna engage and Okay, go, Principes. Who else? Who else is here? Go like this. Let's see if my archers can take him out before we face those spears. All 
All right, they're routed. So they are no longer a threat. So call ceasefire. Come on, everybody, get in the gates. We are just throwing spears at them, that's fine. Let's see if these guys start marching at me. Peasants, it's our fine. We're not gonna use our missiles against them. We need to save, save our missiles. Our Grecian archers are almost out of missiles. We need to save them for the hoplites. Ah, uh, they're winded, just trying to get in the gates. Okay. I see, uh... No. We'll wait. There's some peasants. I wonder what they're thinking here. It's like, huh. Look at all those bodies. Should I be standing here right now? That's probably not a good idea. Let's get out of here. Okay. Missiles. Fire. Start firing. Yeah, let's make sure they get over here. Anybody that steps out into this uh, square is going to get pelted with arrows. Unfortunately, my archers are running out of arrows. We'll have to figure out something. Should I march some guys around, hit them in the back? Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Let's get these guys. Marching around. I think they're gonna beat us to that corner. And those are Seleucid pirates. Let's try to encircle them. Uh, you guys hold your fire. I want them to go there over here. Oh. They're missile weapon, missile troops. Let's charge them. Alright, missiles, fire at will. I want them to go around over here. Alright, archers of Creed, you guys are out of missiles, let's get you out of the gate. General, you just go over here. Alright, these guys are not firing. Oh, I turned off fire at will. That's my bad. Let's get them over here, and then they can fire at this main group. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's get my archers over here, too. Let's have them march here, and make sure to protect them with some Triarii. As well as my general. Okay, you guys 
get back. You're out of arrows. Alright. Oh, good. They're gonna withdraw automatically. Let's get into the square over here. Then we'll set up and fire here. Alright, get these guys to round this corner over here. And I've got some Triaria and Hastadis waiting for them. As well as my archers. Uh oh. They just suddenly attacked and I didn't even realize it. Okay. Let's go. And what do we got over here? Okay. Those guys backed off. We got any more infantry? The gods who fill the heart of the enemy general. That's their general. Now he flees the field like a coward. Let's go. Just getting tired of waiting. Oh. Okay. Cavalry, you're just getting in the way. I still don't want my guys to get massacred here. General, you head back too. Can these guys, can our archers get them? I wish I could get a cavalry on the other side. Oh no, I'm facing off with hoplites in a head to head. I don't like that. Let's get my Scythians, let's get my archers around here. Maybe there's still time to get my cavalry to hit them from the back. And our Triarii are getting slaughtered here. Go straight at him. Okay, I guess that worked. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Get all my <laughs> archers out of here. I don't want to lose more than I've already lost. Oh no, we still got another unit of, of militia hoplites. So we'll have to deal with them. Hopefully we'll be able to flank them. And these guys have rallied? Where's my general? Keep an eye. 
Keep an eye on him. Get my general just to take the square. He'll help out with these guys. There's not many left. All right, finally killed the enemy general. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a And we've routed their hoplites. Okay. Looks like the battle's over. Wow. That was a tough battle. Got a little chaotic in the end there. And this is a really small settlement, so I'm just going to occupy it. Although we do have quite a bit of unrest here. Um yeah a ton of unrest for only 592 people wow I'm gonna get a town watch in here I can't recruit a peasant because there's not enough people it's crazy but we got some reserves and we'll move on Cyprus over here pretty soon I think although they, it looks like the Scipio have Decided not to go after Egypt after all. Dealing with, uh, I don't know if they're at war with Numidia or not. They're not. They're just at war with Gaul, Thrace, Carthage, and Seleucid. Because we declared war on Seleucid. I can't believe Carthage is still around. They've got some settlements in Palma and Spain. That's really surprising. I'm going to get my archers down out of Thessalonica. It's part of this... Um, they're going to be part of the invasion of Egypt. Let's get these Hestatis out of Mazaka. I just got peasants here. Got to recruit a lot of peasants just to maintain the public order. A lot of culture penalty. I like to... I'm trying to stay at normal tax rates unless they have nothing to build. Um, I do need to upgrade some of this stuff. I got the stone walls. But I need to upgrade more. And I'm getting the paved road, so that should reduce it a little bit. And same with Sinope. Of course, I've got a lot of other units here as well. And, of course, Amulius. I need to get him down as part of the Egypt invasion of Egypt. Yes, master. And maybe I need another spy On my way. going down here, too. Yes. Uh, we've got a shrine of... Shrine to whoever that is. I'm going to go ahead and demolish that. And... We'll get a shrine to Juno. I wonder what this Julian army is doing. I don't know. I'm going to get these guys back into Segestica. I don't know if I can merge these guys. Yeah, go ahead and we'll disband this group of Illyrians. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. I'm going to have uh, our general over here while he's on the way to Sinope build some watchtowers. And I may be able to finally get. Almulus out of the city. Sir. Yes, let's get him going. Over here. Onward. Get Captain Spurious over here. Eventually he'll catch up to those rebels. I'm gonna get another group of Scythian mercenaries. Get some horse archers for Amulius. And have our spy head down towards Egypt and start looking at the Egyptian cities. And see what kind of units Egypt has. So they're heavy cav, general's bodyguards, and in their city, I mean in their army, let's see if we can see some of their units here. Yes, a lot of chariots. And some desert cavalry. We got Nile spearmen. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.